My name is Abhishek Jain and the topic I choose for today's video is how can we resolve the most common and the frequently thrown error by the docker daemon that is known as conflicting a container name. So let's find out how can we recreate that issue and how we can resolve it and I'm pretty much sure most of the learner who are trying to learn this technology they will face this issue very frequently. So let's first try to recreate and then we'll try to fix that issue. So what I'm gonna do is first I'm just gonna run one container and my favorite one is the Postgres so I'm gonna run the docker container with let's say name we can give any name let's say put test and the image name is Postgres okay so that seems to be running so now quickly check whether the container is running fine or not yeah so it is running with the name test this is what the name we choose for our container so what would happen if i try to run the postgres image with the same name let's see what happens what docker daemon respond so this is the error i believe you would be getting if you are watching this video all right to resolve that what you have to do is so there are two ways either your docker container is running or it has been stopped but you haven't removed that so that's the reason it is still registered with the docker daemon that the name of that container is already registered so you cannot reuse it right so first let me stop that how can we stop that we can stop with the name and the name is test okay so we stop that okay so there is nothing let's quickly check sorry we have to quickly run the test let's say you can see this line just few seconds back we just stopped it now let me run the same command again let's clear that docker run name test postgres let's see yeah we stopped the container but still we are getting that error so to completely you know resolve this error what we have to do is after stopping if, if it is stopped then if the container is already stopped then you have to remove it but if there is a need that you have to restart or re rerun your container i mean not restart but if you want to remove your container you want to uh, run you want to use the same name for the different image or for the same image which cause updated i mean that there can be n number of reason why you want to utilize the same container name right so to do that if it is running then you have to stop and remove and if it is already stopped then you have to remove that so removing that what you have to do is docker rm command then followed by test this is the container name so this has been removed now let me try to run whether it's allowing us to run or not so it's running let's quickly check yes now we have to do it so it's not that i mean the image of postgres i just take it as example because postgres is my favorite db on the database and that is how you can do it um, in upcoming videos i'll try to you know put i will try to you know create a more videos on this frequently faced error by the beginners or the experienced person can also face this issue and sometimes it gets very frustrated because it's a very simple issue and simple error you know and sometimes people get confused with that so in my upcoming videos definitely i will try to put together you know the recreation step and the resolution for the most commonly happening error with the docker technology that's it from my side for this video if you have any question or you want me to uh, provide the resolution for any specific error you are facing with the docker please feel free to put that comment i will try to you know come up with the resolution if i know if even i don't know then definitely i'll explore and i'll just try to give you the resolution for that thanks for watching this and please don't forget to subscribe it and if you think that this video can help your friends or your any you know known person please forward please feel free to forward this to them thanks for watching this that's it from my side and keep learning and keep enjoying